Hey guys, another video here from Raging Hamster. This one is actually by request on how I set up my act parsing to show not just the DPS in the parse, but also the heals per second. And uh, right now I've got a capture going uh, down on the corner, obviously, of the video of me, a small capture video of the, uh, of the game, and I'm going to show you how to set up act. So uh, let's get act fired up here. Alright, and you can click this button over here, the Show Mini button. This will pop up your mini parse, and how the data is uh, is tabulated here in the mini parse window is actually set up in the Options mini parse window. Here you can change the font, the colors, and make it bigger, smaller. You can also change the update interval, which is going to put some pressure on the uh, on the processor. So the faster the update interval, the more current the information is as being shown in the mini parse screen, if you keep an eye on it. Um, the longer the interval, the, uh, the less impact it's going to have on your processing. So right here in the mini parse text formatting is where you can set up uh, multiple different ways for the mini parser to actually show up uh, or to, to format your data. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hit Add Preset and then these numbers up here, or these uh, these letters in each one of these little categories is how we have our, our ally formatting and our per combatant formatting. The per combatant formatting is the information that shows up down here in the bottom of this window. Um, up in the top of it right here, this is this is generally the, uh, the, the allies formatting, this one at the top. So it shows the duration of the fight, the title of the fight, the encounter DPS, that's the group wide, and then the maximum hit uh, from any one player. Each one of these can be um, completely customized uh, to the way you want it to show. And um, what people have been asking me is how in my other videos, how I have the mini parse right here, how I have it showing DPS and heals per second. And the way we do that, um, down here, you got lots of different options down here on the left side, and encounter HPS, encounter heals per second, healing total of the combatant divided by the duration of the encounter. And it is formatted with two decimal places. Um, what I like to do is instead of clicking these and then appending them to the existing uh, lines up here, I like to just edit directly and then go up here and what I do is I put a pipe, which is uh, on my keyboard, it's underneath the backspace, it's actually a shift uh, backward slash is a, is a pipe. And then you can put some other information in here, like uh, let's say heal. Say I wanted to put heal count in here. I could put heal count right here. Append heals. So now I would have the encounter DPS, the encounter heals per second, and the number of heals. Now I'm currently playing a DPS character down in my uh, down here in the in my capture window. So heals per second isn't uh, isn't really going to help me very much. Uh, let's find something else that's uh, that's a little more uh, a little more friendly. Um, uh, let's just say damage. Let's add damage to the end of this here. So, but notice that when I did the uh, when I did the edit directly, that's how I get the pipe in here. This pipe is not something that you can add by appending or removing. Um, that's something that you can, you want to put a space in here, and then a pipe, and then maybe another space before you have your next uh, your next field. Uh, one other thing that I've had a couple people ask me about is how to get the names um, to show more than just like five characters down here. And what you do is you go up here and again you edit directly, and then you change this to name ten. And what that'll do is that'll create each character's name with a maximum of ten characters. And there are some characters that have more than ten characters in their name. Um, but but not that many. Um, sometimes with just five uh, with five digits, sometimes it's it's kind of hard to pick people's names out. So I, I like to make mine ten, um, but you can change that to however you'd like. So uh, let me save that and then close this. And now my mini parser should be showing me data, given the information that I just put. Where'd it go? Oh, you have to click this add text preset. My apologies. Uh, edit directly. We're going to put a pipe in here save it, sorry, pipe, space, save it, and then I'm going to add damage here to the end of this line, and then I'm going to add this text format preset. So now when I go here, I have another preset down here, and whichever preset you have selected is how your mini parser is going to be putting the data out. So I need to change this one right here to damage, so that now when I'm in the game, and I pick a creature here and I choose to crush and destroy 
my mini parser is showing my name, my damage, my heals per second, and the total damage that my character uh, put out. Let me widen this out a little bit. Uh, if you open it all the way out, you can see all the information across the top, uh, which this was the allies formatting. And, uh, and this one has what my high hit was, which looks like it was at the near chains. But um, I collapse this back because I play in two windows and I don't want to take up too much space. And then we can go back to uh, back to the game here and pick some more monsters to uh, to light up. And we can drop a bomb on somebody there. And now the par shows uh, 4.4 million DPS with a little bit of heals. And um, this here was my total damage that went out, basically one shot at it. Um, but. Uh, that's uh, that's really all there is to it as far as how to change the formatting on your uh, on your on your mini parser. Now, after each combat, if you're wanting to post this information into your group uh, information, all you have to do is automatically it's copied to the clipboard after every combat. So, if you are in a group, which let me get a group here with a merc. And now I can put things in group chat. I just type slash G space and control then I hit control V on my keyboard and it puts the last parse in there. Now now that I have two people in my group, I can sit here and chop on somebody for a little bit and give my merc some time to I guess to cast some heals or to uh to do some damage. And uh and now there's more information in the parse window. Uh it's my DPS, his DPS. Uh, apparently I've got a little bit of heals per second. He uh he didn't cast any heals. And then what our total damage was for the course of the encounter. So uh if I wanted to put this into group chat, I just slash G space and then control V. Enter. And what it does is it puts it down there in the uh down in the group window. So uh if there are any questions, please uh feel free to comment, like, subscribe, uh show me some love, and uh I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.